Okay. On the, On the second uh, page, second page, the payment order. Okay. The line above memo should be right, right justified. You need to put some tabs on it to get it over the right so that the principal promisee is under the line uh, uh, on his behalf, principal promisee underneath. Instead of authorized representative of debtor? Are you looking at the right document? I'm looking at our court executed payment order, Doc. No. I didn't hear what you said, but is that what you said? I thought that was the one you said. No. That's not what was loaded up at five, five o'clock. Tax payment re- order re- uh, reconveyance reassignment. Dot, dot. Okay. Well, I gotta get it up then. I've been working That's on what? my federal. Pardon? I've been working on a federal court case, <clears throat> and I haven't been. Come here. So what? Quick. What are we yep. what are we doing you, here going taking You guys on clear. It's coming in muffled. It's not coming in clear enough. All right. Very Sounds good here. Well, it's not sounding good where I'm at. That's his voice, I think. Yeah, a couple of you. He was trying to talk about something about the uh, payment order and I, I couldn't hear it. You can't hear me? No, that's why. That's why, Tom. I, I can't hear you, Tom. I can hear everybody else. Well, I'm I'm coming in pretty loud and clear here. Yeah, I'm right. not for right. And somebody who understands. And somebody who You're understands. You're a little muffled to me too, Tom. Pardon? You're a little muffled to me too. Uh, oh, that's that, better. That could be. Can you put your mouth I, closer. Or? Didn't do a thing. Oh, no, well, Tom, he's doing fine. I hear well, everybody okay. I've just got to make sure that uh, the program that I use to transfer the files are up. I'm on Skype, and so that it means anything. If I'm uploading anything anywhere, it cuts into the voice. No. Oh, okay. Okay. So the uh, do you have the correct document? So it's, it's we're it's looking at the United States clandestine codes have been broken. Yeah. Document. I've been, I'm there now. Right. Okay. But yeah, the clandestine code, and on the second page, okay. uh, 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 over the the line above the memo line should be all the way over to the right. And if you have a question as what that means, look at the same line on the PDF. So can somebody so summarize you, what we're doing here? Do we? Uh, is that in the payment order? The thing that's in the green box, or what? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Memo is at the bottom of the in that green box. Right. Okay, okay so, so it should also deliver to the ter- territorial estate court office address below should be moved over. No, no, no. The, 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 it begins with principal promise dash align. And that uh, needs to be, you know, it's uh, just like you have a line and then a title underneath. The title is over to the left. It should be over to the right. Uh, now, if you have a question on that, look at the tax equivalent. Oh, okay. 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 Tom, it looks like... It looks like the Are you talking is... about the line after principal promise e dash? I'm talking about the line principal, not the one after it, but the line principal promise e dash needs to be moved over to the right. Okay. Okay. I still don't see what you're talking about, man. Oh, it goes <laughs> under grantor assigned promise. Yes. It goes under that. Right. It should be a line under that. Yeah. Um, if you pull up the, the the PDF and match it, you you'll see it. It's over there on the right hand side. Right. 
Right. Okay, so what should go under the, under that line? It's hard to it's hard to explain it looking at the the word document, but you can see it clearly when you open up the PDF. Right. It's probably just that you know transferring it over. Well, you just have to put your your cursor in front of the principal, the word principal promise he, and then hit tab a few times until it's all the way over under the right. Right. Both the word yeah. and the line. That was easy. Yeah. Move everything That's... over. Move everything yeah, over. I thought you said yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank and God. then. Well, I can't hear the next next page for uh, executed reconveyance for military service is okay. You're talking about right here. You're talking about right here, but I don't, I don't know what else. I don't know what else. Are you looking at the Word document? No, there's no Word document posted. Yes, it is. It's in the Skype group and on the Yahoo group. Yeah, I, I need concurrent. It's well, yeah, you must have posted it about a couple, of, about an hour ago, because I, I was on there all day and I didn't see it. It got posted at 4:54 p.m. In the okay, well, I, I got you. I, thank you, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> now there are three executed reconveyance pages. The first one is for the DD214. The second one is for the certificate. Uh, the Certificate of live birth, and the third one is for the baptismal certificate. Uh, okay. Wait. Okay. Now these are the errors, and if you want to understand what I'm saying again, look at the equivalent on the PDF. On the on the second one, for certificate of live birth, the end of the third line of the first paragraph, the words military service uh-huh. should be clandestine state with state all in caps. Okay. Oh, where it says quit claim? No. Strike the word oh. military service and put in clandestine state in caps. That military service was on the first page. It shouldn't be on the second page. Mm-hmm. And again, if you're if you have a doubt about it, look at the same place on the PDF. They're just very false typos. Okay, so on the third. The certificate of live birth one, the executed, the executed reconveyance, the certificate of live birth document, that's the one you're talking about right now? Certificate, yes, certificate of live birth. Yeah, you said uh, where there's a, a military something on this document, and I don't see no military anything on here. It's at the thir- end of the third line of the first paragraph on the quick claim for the certificate of live birth. Mortgage payback. Uh, oh, constructive state. Okay. Tom, is there a copy of the conversation that you and uh, Pat had with Chris yesterday? I believe it's posted up on e- Ethan Current. Oh, good. Mm. That guy blows my mind. Okay. Which document are you guys talking about right now? I don't know which one you're talking about. It's page four oh five on the of the Word doc. And it's the third line down on the first paragraph towards the end. The last two words, military service. Is this executive warrant and order doc, or which one is it? Executive. You're still in the wrong file. You're still in the wrong file. I know. That's what I'm. I'm trying to figure out where to go. 
It's the payment order reconveyance reassignment. Facts. Okay, that one, that one. Okay, I got you. Facts. Right, and it's page four or five of the first paragraph, third line down. Change that military. I already changed it, Tom, so I don't remember what uh, it was before. Military service, the clandestine state with state in caps. And then there's one more, even smaller. On the next page, first paragraph, the fifth line. Dam and Eve should be Adam and Eve. It's missing the A. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for thanks for fixing that, Tom. Um, well, no, uh, there there still may be up. So you, for each of you have to, I, I tried to be careful about it, but I, th- I thought I'd been through three or four times and I keep finding things. So check the facts very carefully against the Word document. May I ask a question? Okay. Yes. Uh, so I can go to my regular uh, county uh court then and 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 uh am I supposed to get it notarized since we're not doing that clear skill no more or look at the not? first look at the first page where does it go well i mean i, I know we're going to the attorney general I know that I know that, but the I'll just only is, ask him no this fact where's this fax going oh the fax I'm not looking at that let me see the fax goes to uh well, he said well, this one to the chief judge. To the judge. Chief judge. Right. Yeah, but that's because he's been working with that guy, and he kind of likes him. No, but he's still the right guy to go to. Oh, uh, well, but yeah, I thought I could go to me to send it to the attorney general. No. Who's sending it to the attorney general? That's what Patrick was yelling at me yesterday. That's right. No. No, it gets sent to the attorney general, but after uh, after the chief judge, our court is is sending it. Uh, now, um, take take a look take a look at those last three pages. They're pretty much the same document, except uh, one for the military service, the next one's for the certificate of live birth, and the last one is for the baptismal certificate. Right. Yes. Well, yeah. So, yeah. so what? What? What's it doing? Remember that up up to this point, and, and what Patrick found it out is that we unknowingly granted our our inheritance to the grantee, the all caps name with the social security number. That's right. 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 Yeah. Okay. So, what does that first section do? Transfers it back. Right. The grantee voluntarily reconveys uh, this uh, mortgage deed pledge back to the grantor. That's right. So we um, so we crucify him. Yes, he's the bad thief. A bad thief. Badass. Yeah. But 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 Thomas, but the thing is, is that if the electoral assigned promise promissors are the bond members, then I can send it to my county then, according to what I'm looking at. Not until you complete this. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what the, 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 the done? Read what this is doing. He did say a county attorney could do it, but. That's a little guy. No. Go to the well, general. all done with this, we can notify their county attorneys. They're right. further on down the line. What this one is doing, it's going for everything. you got to go to the big head. Yeah, well, if you go to the county attorney, you're going there to pay a parking ticket. Yeah. 
We want we want more than a parking ticket. Okay, then then I guess my most important question is is am I sending a copy of my certificate with it? Yes. You you need to listen to the calls. Okay, I, then I'm going to endorse the back and uh, right. And this, then they're going this, to come. This is what goes on the back of your certificate of live birth. The conveyance does. I got you. I'm saying it now. That, okay. I mean, that that was my question. That's all. Now, if you no, notice the last page, what it says on the top. The last page. Okay. I'm looking at the PDF. I'm not looking at the Word doc. Okay, look at the last page of the PDF. <laughs> okay, so before you cuss me out, Thomas, I'm only interested in the certificate of live birth one. That's the only one I'm concerned with for, uh, for Yasharan. The last page says, Allonge by my Roman Catholic Church. Certificate of Baptism. Right, right. Now, do you, in the definition, do you see what the word allonge means? No. no. I don't see it on any of this. It's a piece of paper attached I know what the word means. to a document. You know what the word allonge means, right? It's an attachment on a piece of paper of uh, where the paper has been or something. Right. Well, it's, it's more than that. It's just if there's not enough space on the back or your other stuff is written on the back, this is a way of, of uh, circumventing that. It's like a note attached to your document. And, in fact, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting that terminology on the top of each one of these things. Because my, my certificate of live birth is not as big as 8.5 by 11. All right, mine either. So what I will do is I will fill out that, that page 2 uh, uh, money order. Uh, well, I guess this... Does this go on the back? Oh, well, that is a good question. The, the payment Alonge, goes on the back. Alon says a paper attached to a bill or note or so far. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. So what you do is you fill out this uh, executed reconveyance and reassignment, and you take turn it over for the blank side. You put your certificate of live birth there, and you staple them together. Yeah. Right. Yeah, see, that makes more sense. It says, upon which an endorsement of the instrument is written. Yes. Okay. Sometimes gluing uh, documents together is, is better because it's a bond, and you can't break it apart, so it makes it more official. Well, that's true too, uh, but but in in this case, uh, it works in my case because uh, I I did this when I I when we were sending things to the Secretary of the State. You have to use your head. I put that endorsement on there, so my 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 certificate. He sent it back, but my certificate of live birth has stuff on it. Now that and that happened happened more than once, and the reason I stapled it rather than gluing it. Is because if if it, if it comes back again and I have to take them apart, yeah. uh, the, the glue will be probably destructive, where the staples won't. Yeah, and instead of an allonge, you could use a legal piece of paper. Was it uh, eight and a half by twelve? Mm. And then you've got. <clears throat> yeah, well, my my certificate of live birth is uh, eight and a half by seven or something like that. So it's a short page. So this, all of this wouldn't fit on the back of that. Mine are like half the size of a, of a piece of paper. Right. Right. Yeah. Mine too. And that, that's what you know. That, that's why I, you need something like like this. You need to turn it over and either glue it or staple it. Either one is all right. And they've got a raise. Well, we're not. We're not using. On, we're not using the original time. anyway, right? Yes, we're using the original. Why don't we just shrink it down and then and then put it on there? How can that be? Pardon? 
why don't we just shrink the shrink the font down and, and, and make it make it smaller to sit on the back of the certificate? Why? They'd never read it. <laughs> well, I mean, that ain't my problem if they read it or not. <laughs> yes, it is. Line, <laughs> <time. laughs> <Sure. laughs> Oh, God. Well, I think so, some of this is not going to go on everybody. Like, everybody doesn't have the... the well, it seems like you should endorse it. You do. Everything has to be endorsed. This is endorsing it. Right. In this fact, look at, the, 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 the final endorsement, look at the bottom of the page. The final endorsement is by who? Bottom of the page. Executorial assigned promisor vicar general. That's for the uh, certificate. Uh, that's for the baptismal certificate. But for the other two, it's your state the attorney general. Yeah. No. There's, there's four things page. going on. There's four things going on here. The grantee gives the stuff back to the grantor. Right. The grantor uh, reassigns it to the owner. You know, the owner accepts it and is uh, offering it for its surrender value. The court saying, that's fine, I'm going to order that. Court orders it and then sends it to the attorney general. Okay. I need to take out all these ones that I'm not going to be using because it's just too confusing. Well, I think the the other ones here, the the first two, the first page, is is what he sent sent to the, the chief judge who who had told him, uh, you know, I, this, your stuff is indecipherable, mm-hmm. and that could either have two meanings. He didn't make any sense of it, or he was using for code uh, for telling Patrick, you didn't get it right. But yeah, Patrick, he didn't get it right. Patrick already figured out he didn't get it right. He had it reversed. And he said, but of all, the, of all the paperwork I've seen from this guy, this is the only guy who knows what he wants. <laughs> okay? So ba- basically, uh, how, fact, how could he say he knows what he wants when yes. it was indecipherable? That's right. That's why indecipherable means not, not indecipherable, but that he got it backwards. Oh, okay. Because that means he couldn't act on it because it was wrong. Right. Okay. You yeah, can't yeah. tell him what to do, so we've got to right. give him a hint. Pardon? You couldn't you tell him what to tell do. We had to give him a hint, though. Well, right. that's all the hints they're going to give you. Yeah. That was nice of him, though, because he didn't have to tell him yeah. anything. I mean, you that with a couple of other things... Uh, you know, that, that group in uh, South Carolina, Patrick keeps talking about, the judge says, you can do this yourself. Well, what does the last three pages are doing here? You know, it's about time he's done everything under the sun. Yeah, so, well, the last, you know, the executed reconveyance and reassignment, that's our doing it ourselves. Yeah. Right. We're, we're running it to our own court. And that's why we get a different post address, right? No, we, we have to get an address for our court. And what we're doing is putting it on file because evidently... Uh, oh, that's our court address, okay. That's the court, ad- court address. And ev- evidently, it's not considered an official court if the court address is not registered at the post office. That's right. So the easiest way to get a registered at the post office is some bit of change of address form. What the heck? Right. They stole my address. Damn, this county here. Can't even get mail delivered to my house. <clears throat> Why? I go on the Internet and it says it's a vacant house. Does it still have a? But that's another story. Okay, did you go and talk to them about it? 
Mm. Oh, it's a, it's a long story, Tom. Okay. Go on and on and on. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, well, it looks like Patrick isn't going to show. Yes, he is. Yeah, right. Uh, he's probably listening. No, he's not on. I can tell when he's on. Okay. I'm a man who rarely asks questions. I usually figure it all out. Uh, I haven't been studying lately. I've been working on my own case. And, but uh, i got to get my mind off it and do this as long as I'm going to be down at the courthouse. Maybe I can take care of some other business down there. Well, my feeling is that once once this goes through, I, I will be sending a copy of this to the, the county attorney and the county court. Mm-hmm. For your location or the birthday? Well, I do all of them. Oh. No, really, the certificate of live birth is all they need. You know, that they, they don't deal with the military rec, land records or uh, with the uh, the baptismal certificate. That's going to be the magic prima facie evidence of change of status. Right. Yeah. It, it, it really does say get off my back, especially, you know, uh, there should be, look. we'll have the people visit us with the funds. First thing I'll do is ask them what is what is their recommend what way would they prefer what do they prefer I do with the funds. And the magic language is as we we've uh, reconveyed from the uh, grant the grantee back to the owner and then the owner's reconveying it again. The, the, no, the grantee. No, the grantee reconveys it to the grantor. The grantor is the good ass. The grantor assigns it to the owner. Grantor is a fiction, right? Yes. That's why he's in caps. He's granting it back to the man. Right. And the man accepts it and says, cash the sucker out. And the court says, I'll go along with that. Jing, jing. So should, should we wait till we have confirmation from the post office that the address is set up? No, just take the damn thing down there. You can also do it online. Tom, don't you have right. to have your, all three of your seals, I mean, or at least two of your seals to complete this? Well, you should have them, but remember, he's, he's saying, as far as the seals go, go with what you got. Don't hold it up to the seals. Okay, but I, I thought you couldn't uh, complete the three if you didn't have, all, if you didn't have two, at least two of the seals. I mean, in terms one, of your court, I mean. We only need one seal. You saw the, the seal example that was posted about a week ago, right? The tribunal yes. seal? Yes. That That's all you need. So I don't need my tribunal? Well, I I had my, I just had my seal reworked. In fact, it may be out in my mailbox. I didn't go out there and look today. Remember that uh, uh, um, an embossing seal has five lines of a type on it. The outer circle top, the inner circle top, the middle line, the inner circle bottom, and the outer circle bottom. That's right. And and so I have mine saying the United States Territorial, uh, Territorial, uh, the United States Superior Court, next line, uh, for the territorial estates of... And then the middle line in, in claps, I say tribunal seal. Then the uh, uh, fourth line, I put Thomas James Widler. And then on the bottom line, I put dash, reserved rights, and powers, dash. I needed to put something down there, and we're operating on reserved rights and powers. 
you get that from Office Depot or something, Tom? No, I order them from Rubber Stamp Warehouse in Omaha. It's about forty bucks for a. You you you, you can you you can get an embosser with a seal for thirty dollars. Cool. And if you get one wow. of the embossers with a seal, get get the one that you can take the the seal out of. Uh huh. So that uh, I, I to get a different seal, it was just fifteen dollars, and that's all I'm paying for this additional seal. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay. So if you need to change it, yeah. Right. Right. Hmm. That was so I've got, I've got all these different seasons that Patrick suggested, but I didn't pay for the embosser each time. <laughs> well, I wonder. So Vine, you can take the, the little thing out. Not the Not the... I don't want to have to buy this whole thing all over. Well, uh, if you have the embosser, try squeezing the, the two big plates together and see if you can pull it out. And if you can, then you can order a new, new set of plates. <clears throat> the gas flame on it for a little bit and see if it falls out. Mm. Well, I have to pull it. You have to pull it. It doesn't fall off. No, my, I mean, the the little, the insert comes out, but yes. not just plates all by itself. Right. The in, insert is that, that uh, B piece of metal with the two round oh, circles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. that's, the, that's the one I have. Oh, okay, so I could just replace that then. You can just replace that. Yeah, because mine says Ecclesiastes. Tribunal Trust Executorial Trustee Tribunal Trustee Well Since it says Tribunal on there That's probably good enough They're probably not going to read it You said go with what you got And I, that, I I'm not sure I don't think he had The Superior Court one When he first sent his first stuff off All Right Okay, any other questions about this? Yeah, I'm, now that I think about it over this uh, second page uh, is is uh, actually uh, to get money in the meantime until we liquidate everything. The last three pages are for clearing everything out. The first, the first page, the facts, and the first page is to tell us, Chief Judge, I finally got it right. The second page is, page is to pay bills. The, the third, fourth, and fifth pages are to get out. Right. Okay? Okay. All right. That sounds good. I, I went into the, uh, the post office, and uh, the lady in there said, you can't. So I just gonna I said the lady at the post office you can't establish a court address. Well you on the on the thirty five seventy five you just mark the the uh, business. You have three choices yeah, up at the top. Is this for you, is this for your family or is it for a business? Right. And even though it's not really a business, I was going to strike out the word business and type the word court above it. Right. But I, I decided, well, and, and he said last night, don't don't mess with them. And uh, you say, well, you say, well, court's not a business. I said, well, that's the only choice you gave me. Business is something not personal. So for me, business means something not personal, and the court is. Right. I probably should have argued with her, but there was a bunch of people there. Oh, and you remember, he, remember he shortened the title of the court. And he shortened it for the purpose of getting it to being able to write it on that 3575 form. Right. Well, he, yeah, because you put the initials at the end. Right. You put the initials at the end. You say U.S. without any periods. Uh, I think it's Superior State Court, wasn't it? There it is. Yeah. 
U.S. Superior State Court, uh, and then dash your three initials. It's not a state court. It's a territorial estate. No. Look at the second page. Okay. Hey, I got a question on the green money order, the payment order. It says drawn That's what I'm, from, telling, that's what you I'm say, telling you to look at. Did you say drawn from, and it says okay. hyphen fraternal promissory mortgage pool treasury. Is that where you put the state in capital letters? I can't yeah. hear him. Somebody. I'll talk better. On the payment order that's bordered in green. All three lines keep your state caps. All three lines, okay. All three lines what? In, in drawn from. Drawn from, you use your, cap, your state with capital letters. Right. Okay. okay. Office of, and then you say... You know, like California or whatever, Attorney General, Office of. You, all of Office of is all for the state when it's capital letters. Right. Promisor. And even what's the last one? Blank Fraternal Promissory Mortgage Pool Department. That's another one, the same three? Same three? Uh, look at, uh, I'm pretty, the, the two numbers down there, certificate of by birth and the Social Security number, and he has a, a clearer on a uh, previous money order. I, I think it's the uh, the routing number is the Social Security number uh, and the your certificate of live birth is the account number. And then the third number is your check number. That's the, one, that's, the, that's the box that's blank. But you also put it at the top. Yeah, right, right. Okay. Yeah, look look at your checks. Routing right. number, account number and bank and check number. Right. Okay, I'm just checking. Because we didn't talk about it that much or I didn't hear you. Well, it was talked about a lot on the call. Yeah, well some yeah, I haven't been yeah, on you shoot me out for even asking the question. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll probably need to see you this part again. So. Pardon? I thought I'll probably listen to you this one again. She's going to listen to this call again. Okay. You've got to listen to all the calls a couple times, three times, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I actually think yesterday's call uh, ex- explains much more what this document is doing than what we did today. And... Uh, who was it who sent me the uh, summary? Are you here? The notes. The notes. Yeah, yeah the, the summary of yesterday's call. I haven't done. I don't think I did yesterday's. I did the two oh, days. Oh, you, you didn't do yesterday's. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you sent me the summary of the Friday call. Friday and the oh, day before it. that. Yeah. Are those right. posted somewhere? No, I'm I'm editing them. them. Tawana posted one, and I'm editing it down oh. a bit. Because uh, when Patrick talks, he sometimes uh, he, uh, he you don't know he throws in a lot of pronouns. It's not clear what he's talking about, so I have to search through, and then I expand it to yeah. to, include, to include the proper references. And when he mentions definitions, I include the whole definition in. Oh, that's good. Oh. Well, why didn't you just tell me to do that? Pardon? I said, why didn't you just tell me to do that? I don't want to give you work, give do the work, and then give you give it to you. Give well, it to it's, it's actually actually easier that way. Uh, Tuana just gave me gave me the word for word of what he said, yeah. and uh, since I I go through it anyhow, uh, you know, because the way he talks, uh, it's like the same problem everybody has when they're talking, especially when he's. Uh, uh, so creative at what he does, he begins a sentence one way and he ends it up another. He, he changes gears midstream, and you can figure that right. out and you fix the sentence so it flows better. Right. I don't, I don't change any of his ideas, but uh, I catch that and I let it flow a little bit better. And he certainly right. wouldn't, you know, he would make those corrections himself if he did it in writing. Oh well, yeah, there was that. 
Yeah, and that's helpful too. And it's and I don't mind doing it because that's my way of reviewing the call. Right. Right, mine too. Okay. Helps me remember it, understand. So it's, it's, it's even if it's extra work, it's such work that I should do. It so uh, that makes me think about it. You know, it's just like like reading it. You know, you can sometimes if you keep wow. reading it, it's like reading a comic book. So you don't mind us asking questions over again. I mean, you guys probably already asked it, but the grantor slash assigned primacy is like your name in upper and lower case, and the, and the grantee is all uppercase, the dead thing, the bad guy, and the principal primacy is your ni- Mr. or Mrs. Then your name, right? Uh, the principal primacy is the guy who was suckered into doing this in the first place. <laughs> okay. Okay. And, and he was expected at ninety, you know, at six, eight, twelve weeks old to put a stop to this. All right. Because this was done in ninety days after your birth. Why do you use um, Mr. and Mrs.? That means you're the living. That's what you are supposed to be nowadays. I don't. Agree. Well. No, because he's using Mr. for both the grantor and for the grantee. And for the living person, he has Mr. Patrick of the of the family divine. Mm-hmm. But he did mention last night very briefly, for the third one, you could all, that uh, some people say use all lowercase. Right. Of your name. Yeah. Right, because that's Chapter like the Finney. superior Chapter one. Finney. Right. In fact, Anna von Wright says that the all, up, all lower case is the, is the proper living person. The yeah. uh, capitalized name is a result of the Act of 1871 and the incorporation. The all caps name came in during the Depression uh, when the IMS was formed and the country went into bankruptcy. And that the country is... Uh, uh, so that would be John Quincy Adams in all caps. And now, now the uh, that corporation is in bankruptcy, and it's going into bankruptcy to the UN, and it will now be John Q. Adams. Right. Yeah, I saw that document you wrote. Right. Where is that? Where's that document at? I want to re- look at that one. I haven't seen that one. Well, I'll just, hold it was in sovereign warriors, I think. Uh, you, you can find her stuff at honorvonreich.com. Honorvonreich? Right, R-E-I-T-Z. R-E-I. I think, I think I have it. I think I have the link. I'll send it to you in Skype, um, okay. Stephen. Now, okay. I, I, I just sent her this stuff today. I'll turn on my Skype. Okay, that, just wondering. I haven't learned that yet. Okay, I, I just sent her these five pages today. Yeah. Okay. All right. All righty. Thank Thanks, you. Thomas. Sure. Very We're good. Wrap, wrapping it up. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if you have more questions. I have a question. Okay. Could you please post that document from Anna von Wright to Yahoo? Because that's the main source of distribution. I'm sorry. And it seems uh, like it's important. It seems like it's important. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Uh, it's a, uh, the one I post is called the Two Faces of the IMF. Yeah, okay. she's got a whole page of them that I was going to send to Yeah, I mean, she's got twenty different documents, and they all hit different aspects. And it's easier for me to just post a link to her website. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Oh. Yeah, that's right. The, the, basically, the documents out there are for. What Patrick authorizes, but he doesn't find links to other things. I'll, so I'll post a link to her stuff. I just, uh, I just did. Okay. A n n a v o n r e i t z dot com. Right. I'll put a mute on here. Actually, if you uh, her full name actually takes two complete lines. Here. 
Yeah, she used her real name. There's about names in her line, in her na- full name. Yeah. I mean, you know, her full name. Well, she's got a lot of a lot of different links in there. Was there a document specifically? Uh, uh, the best one is the one that's called Two Faces of the IMF. Well, when you're talking about the name, just the name alone, I think the one that's, in, I think, from memory I'm looking at, yeah, the nut is cracked. The first, the one that says the nut and crack is cracked on the first page, it shows the different spellings of the name. Okay. Yeah, she, she explains that a number of times. Yeah. Okay. That's just right on the very, yeah. right there, right from the get-go. She went into it on that one, the source of the fraud, too. No. Right. All right. Okay. Well, I just looked at that link. It's got a whole bunch she of. Told, she told me today that she's writing a book uh, in comic book format to teach all of this to little kids. Mm-hmm. She told you. Oh that? wow! That is so awesome. Yep. That's awesome. So you were you were talking to her? Yeah. Okay. Then my next question is: She really a judge? Yes. Okay, because a lot of people have asked me to, actually, some radio hosts have asked me to find out, is she really a judge? Well, I, I need to ask her, is she in the bar? She may or may not be. Okay. Well, we're all judges. She may be a judge of an ecclesiastical court. Right. Well, how did you reach this woman? I'm curious, and why? <laughs> why? I found her. I forget how to write the other Oh, okay. I, I read the I read the uh, two pages of the IMF and I looked around. She has a Facebook page, not much activity there. Yeah, I did see that. I, I think her phone number was somewhere. Yeah, it might have been. But did you did you get anything from the fact that she was she was um, part of that whole? It looks like probably part of that whole bar thing. I know you're saying you're not sure, but it looks like from some of the comments she made in one of her letters that she sent out or her notices that she, um, her family was all part of that. It just—it seems like she alluded to it in there. I'm just wondering. Well, I'm not—I'm not sure about that. Uh, <clears throat> I don't remember her discussing that. She did say that. Uh, she is an attorney in private service to the Pope, both uh, Benedict uh-huh. and the yeah. Pope. I want to see this. And, uh, in fact, that uh, she says this. that she sued the, the Vatican in 2009, and the result of all of that was uh, Pope Francis's uh, encyclical uh, or letter, Modi Proprio. Oh, okay, that was that. I wondered, if, because looking at the... the um, times of those letters and notices she put out, it did seem that a lot of things were coming about, you know, shortly after those, or at least six months or so. And yes. I wondered if there was a connection there. there. It might have been on yours, though. Yes. Yeah. And, her, and, and her letter to Karen, because um, I was, I, I, I agree with what she was saying to, to Karen. Did you and, and she it. said it so nicely. Exactly, but she did a really nice job. But I do, I did. She, uh, she really, she really beat up on her ever so nicely. Yes, she did. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a lovely skill to be able to cut somebody out. I'm a fan. Thank you. She really did. Thank you, girl. Okay. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thomas. Yes. What's the uh? Hold on, I'm I'm looking at the uh, payment order, and uh, crap. Uh, the paternal promissory routing number. That's my social security number, right? Yes. And the and the pool is my certificate of birth. Yes. And the third line is my zip code. No. Check number. Check number. Yeah. 
So my zip code is my check number? No. That's, the, that's what that line is, a check number. Look okay, at the very so first, then, then. Uh, look at the very first line over executed date. This is like a check. What's on the bottom li- bottom line of your check? Routing number, account number, check number. That's right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, and your check so, number is also upper right. So at the top where it says the original issue, my same account number goes there as well. No, not account number, check number. No, no, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my my uh, check number goes where the original issue is as well, right? Right, but you don't call it an account number, which you did. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm, I'm just making sure because... Well, cause. your words have meanings. Yeah. Tom, does she uh, know the process that you're applying right now? Did she make any comment to that or no? Pardon? Does she know the, the process that you're working on applying right now? Did she make any comments to that or... I sent her. I sent her these papers today. Okay, great. And I'd like to know. And what uh, I, I, in my email too, I explained in five lines, you know, what they were doing. Okay. You know the, the, that previously we had unknowingly uh, submitted, uh, granted our stuff to the grantee. Mm-hmm. Now we were unwinding that, grantee back to the grantor, grantor back to the owner. Owner saying get rid of it. Judge says okay. And telling her to give you her thoughts. I'm assuming. Yes, because she's trying to put a system to get together out of out of it. In fact, she was able to trap her great granddaughter's account. Great great granddaughter. Oh, wow. Who's now 23. That. And she's working wow. with a group of lawyers who are pissed off at the system trying to do this. <laughs> and I may have just was, given them a shortcut. <laughs> right. That's too funny. I was going to see if, if um, people could do it on behalf of, um, like, your grandparents or your, or if you have a, um, a a mom or dad that has, you know, um, gone on, if you're able to do it on yes, their behalf. Yes, you can do that. Once we, but if Patrick says, take care of yourself first. Oh, of course. You have to do that to be able to help somebody else. So. Right. Then you can go do these paperwork for your, uh, your back, far back. As, you know, if you can trace them back to the Roman Empire, do that. <laughs> well, couldn't you do like a generic kind of one to, that would cover on behalf of those um, family? You have, to, you, have to know, you have to know who they are, and they have to have these numbers. So you can only go back so far. However, yeah, I, I like look at the last look at the last look at the last one about the certificate of live birth. How does he describe that inherit estate? How would you describe it in what? How does on the last one the, the last executed reconveyance? How, how does he describe the inherit inherit estate that he's trying to get back? I don't know. I'm not looking at it right now. Um, I, I don't know. trying to figure out which one you're talking about. Oh, I can see on the top line of that document I spelled Roman with an S. Rome, Roman's Catholic Church. Take that <laughs> what, page is that? what page is that, Tom? For fifth page. Uh, he, you know, the the, the first one, the DD two fourteen, he describes is a a um, um, military service estate. The particular by birth, he calls it is an American inherit estate. In his Roman Catholic Church baptismal certificate, he calls this his Adam and Eve inherit estate. Oh yeah. He's tracing it all the way back to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, that's right. But it was an act, it was actually Chava, the Chava, 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 in the Hebrew, because Eve was actually um, not the 
correct name or the correct one, according uh, to Hebrew. Just by the well, way. I guess this is a King James Bible. I know. How is the question that just in that version? Well, yeah, there's a lot of argument you can have about which version of the Bible is Jews. I've got to read that book of Jasher that he mentioned. I've got the PDF. Can't wait to the afterlife and find out how much of the Bible is true. The King James Version is... I think it's got to be all hearsay. I mean, the King James Version says exactly what it is. It's the King, King James, his version. Right. Right. Well, that's why I question it, because it's written by a king. Exactly. Exactly, yeah. and that was during no, the neighbor. Probably, probably, well, probably wasn't written for him, but it, it, it basically got approved by the king. He probably told yeah. him what to do. What he wanted. Right, it what was, he wanted. Yeah, it was what he wanted to have in and not in. Um, but the I was um, speaking with someone earlier on the call before it started, and in actuality, the, uh, the Torah means law. And it is the law and the word, and that is right. what they were trying. That is what they were trying to do away with. Um, that was what they were trying to destroy, and to make people have no memory of. And they came up with their version of the Bible. Now, studying it all my life, I know that there's truth in it. I know that there's part that is inspired, truly inspired by source, creator, maker, but. There's also a lot of error in that, the King James and many of the others that followed suit along that same path. So well, you have yeah. to just really use discernment on that because the, I was saying earlier, I really believe that they have taken the, the King, especially the King James, the different King James versions, and used it as their mere version, like the darkness and the enemy and Hasatan does, is take everything of light and has a mirrored copy of it that is distorted and, and not truthful. Well, the uh, book of Jasher that, that I got, which I think is the one Patrick recommended, it says it's pretty much translated from the direct Hebrew. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, on, on the Jasher, you know, if you, if yeah. you, or Yasher, however you want to pronounce it, but yeah, yeah if you're... It, um, that one site. Sorry, that's, not, that's not something I can post on Yahoo because it's 430 pages. No, but you can. I think they have it posted on um, what is that ancient, ancient books or ancient text? Ancienttext.com, I think, or .org. Okay. Ancienttext.org. I think they may have it on there. They've got a lot of the old ones that aren't posted elsewhere. On there. Called sacred texts. I heard yeah, when they took the Hebrew. Thank you. And they translated it to English. It, it all came out in like a computer-like code, and you couldn't change one letter or one word around, or it would screw up the whole organization of the thing. So it proves its authenticity. I, I don't know what that means. I don't know which Bible um, that <laughs> relates to, but anyway, that yeah. made a lot of sense to me. Yeah, okay. I have read that too. That sounds like a load of hogwash. That's what that sounds like. I mean, you know, text, all, all languages have have variations and, and separate words. I could see them saying something like that if it were Chinese, because a phrase can be written with one symbol in Chinese, but not Hebrew. Yeah, I, love, I love reading Chinese instructions translated to English. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I remember uh, Japanese instructions on a printer I got back in, what, the, the 60s or something like that? The instructions were operate before using. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'm going to get working on this. Okay. You guys have a good night. Yeah, thank See you. you. Thank you. Okay.
Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for the uh, for the.